the support I've been getting lately. Oh man, it feels good. The season is early. It's only March. And I'm already getting thumbs up. And people asking to buy it. People waving. People telling me this was their first car. It's awesome. It's nothing like it. Gotta get you one. Last time I put some gas in here, I only could put six gallons. How many gallons does this tank take? Because the issue I'm having, I can only put about $25 in here and that's going to be about six gallons. And then I know this car takes more gas than that. I just know it. See, look. Look, it's spitting out gas. And you see, only put five gallons. 21. <coughs> the, um, the hand, the gas hand, it, it isn't reading correctly. So, I'll show you where it's at now. I'll show you where it's at. And I know I can put more gas in here. Something just ain't right. So, let me show you where the gas hand sits. If that was quote unquote full. All right, so, see that? Let's wait. Let me turn you around here. So that's full, that's full. This is full for me. hit the gas everything it doesn't move that's full for me so when it gets about right here before the yellow line I'm thinking okay it's time to pull over and let's get some gas because I would hate to run out of gas right so when I put gas in here I can't go past six gallons how many gallons how many gallons is in this tank how many how much gallons does this tank require to fill up on full because if I know that then that will help me out much um, the tank was changed so I don't know what tank he went with I would have to ask him but I remember he told me that the tank is about 21 gallons 21 gallons and I'm only filling up six gallons every time I put gas in it I gotta be paranoid or what because that's a lot of fuel that's being left in the tank if I'm waiting after six gallons to fill it up from 21. Um, I'm thinking now, should I, okay, hear me out. So should I put a digital dash in this car because it'll uh, take away this issue that I'm having here? Should I put a digital dash in this car to take away this issue? Would a digital dash show me how many accurate gallons is in the car or or even the, the the gauge will it give me a, a better read of the gauge so that's where i'm at right now should i do that should i put a digital dash in here because i think it'll save me money because i'm spending twenty dollars every time i'm thinking it's on e and i don't want to run out that's twenty dollars every time i do it um what should i do see that's that's the current miles <laughs> no, add a hundred thousand to that. <laughs> yep, add a hundred thousand to it. I've been driving her. It ain't just been sitting in the shop, hidden away. No, I've been driving this one. I've been having fun. So yeah, I'm about to hit. I'm about to jump on the road. Just have to show you guys that because I gotta figure this out. I'm putting a lot of money in gas in this car if it's not really uh, empty yet for me to put some gas in. So. Hey, let's try to see if I can finish this problem.
so I wanted to show y'all Cody's build. Pretty sweet truck, slammed to the ground. If it ain't low, it ain't a go. <laughs> Air ride system in the back. Set that boy right on the ground. So yeah, welcome back to Bags on the Go, and I'm in the Caprice today. It's gonna be my car. I'm gonna be driving any and everywhere for this summer into the fall. And I'm here at Exclusive Audio because I upgraded my battery on the Monte Carlo and my alternator and I got the, um, the belt as well. Uh, how's it going? I'm Cody. I'm with Exclusive Sounds. We're the guys that are going to be doing the stereo in James's Monte Carlo here. Uh, we're going to be putting some sweet sounds in here with some custom center consoles and some rear decks. Make it real nice for him. Get it all buttoned up and he'll be ready to go. Thank you, Cody. Appreciate it. So, yeah. So, I got this battery here. I don't know. Anybody else put this in their car? I just said I wanted to upgrade. And they gave me this. I got a top post and a side post. And then the good old alternator yep so here's the box right here yep for the fittings and this is what we got so far look at that just nice and clean and simple yeah I'm here checking it out today check it all out Ooh, yeah, that center console look good right there. Man. Woo! Yeah, that look good. See, we're just working on a little something. And I just told them, you know, I know most of the times people, they build the center consoles with the bucket seats in them. But I got the bench seat, so it's a little different. So he came up with that. Look how sharp that is, though. On the reel. That's nice. And then um, the back as well going to have a plate across of it. Something, I'm going to wrap it in suede and something's going to go on the top of it. Yeah, taking this battery out. Look how small this battery is. So small. I said I was going to get around to it and changing it. Well, today is the day. And then that alternator. I hope the alternator they gave me is... Um, a better one than that one because I told him I wanted to just upgrade it you know so let you see the ugly right now because you know you got to see all of this stuff to know what we came from we're doing all Rockford Cody everything in here is going to be Rockford everything is going to be rock okay okay Rockford. With power series speakers all the way around. You're gonna have four tweeters, four interior speakers, two subwoofers. Okay. You heard it. You heard it. Rockford system all the way around. Uh, that one says P1. Uh, no, no P. A thousand X one B D. I don't know what that stands for, but I'm just reading it. And this is a punch here. Six six. A P600 X4. Don't know what that's for, but I'm guessing that's probably for the 6x9s or so. And the other one's probably for the subs. Well, it looks so cool, man. I appreciate you for taking her in. About to have her slamming down the block in no time soon. And look at the special guest we have on the show today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't do cameras. I don't do cameras, man. Get that camera out my face. I'm working. Can't be bothering security on your own job. <laughs> yeah, so that looks so cool. Well, that's all I had to do is just come and bring some parts. Accessories, um, but we're still like regular sub boxes are really far behind, and yeah, I don't know. We're getting there though. A lot of things are coming in. Because so. I know we've been waiting for a while for those amps. Yeah, yep, those took a long time to get in. 
radios, we just got stocked up on radios. I mean, like it was, and they're gonna go out too. Uh, oh, okay. Radios, um, probably, because that chip shortage in China, oh, okay. is dealing with everything. It's the same things that affect all the radios. So probably gonna see like May, uh, maybe beginning of June, there's just gonna be no radios. No radios. None. So we bought like, I mean, dude, I got a Shelby unit full of radios just oh, okay. waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got you the bag stock, it. yeah. Yeah, when last summer happened, man, not getting amps, not getting speakers, mm -hmm. all we could do is tint windows. Yeah. Tint windows every day, it's yep. fine, but yep. audio's the play money. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, because you got boats. Yep. So how's your situation with the boat stuff? Do you have enough uh, to cover? Like a twenty thousand dollar order of boat stuff. In. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Luckily, I placed it early enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If I was placing it like normally, we'd do it like uh, um, mid-April. We would mm -hmm. place like a boat order, and if I tried that, I wouldn't see it till July. Wow. Obviously, when no one's even working on their boats exactly, anymore. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. We placed it in February. Luckily, got all that in. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's doing good. Got the Monte Carlo going. I'm happy. I'll be slamming down the block soon. Soon. So earlier than most years, man. Yeah, but hey, I started up the slingshot. The slingshot is still slapping hard. <laughs> now when we went to the uh, Daytona, though, those slingshots, man. Dude, people put some money into those things. Crazy. I saw your rims. Yeah, oh yeah. Those yeah, are yeah, sweet. Yeah, thanks, I dig thanks, that. Thanks. Yeah. I dig so I'm gonna, that a lot, I'm man. I'm gonna put those on soon. But I wanna uh, take all the plastic off the slingshot. Paint it up okay. and then put it back on and then I got a top for it, got brand new seats what? for it, uh, yeah. put the wheels on it, I got new grills for it, uh, new carpet, so. She should be set up this oh, year. Man, this year it's gonna be, <laughs> <laughs> that's another one I'm going to take out of town in uh, June, around my birthday. We're going to go down to Atlanta, they have a SS takeover show again. Yeah. So, boom. Nice. All the way down there. You're gonna bomb it all the way down there? Yeah, yeah, That'll yeah. Be a sweet oh, ride. Yeah. That thing's oh, actually yeah. pretty comfy, I bet. Oh, you're that right. thing, you don't feel it. Right. Now, the, the car on the back, I'm gonna feel it, but I mean, <laughs> that truck holds up pretty damn good, yeah. though. I've been back and forth to uh, Ohio picking yeah. up those Caprices, and yeah. it, it gets going at 80 miles per hour and there just cruise it. Well, you got the 2500, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So good. straight down the road. Boom. Don't even feel <laughs> it. Yeah, so yeah. All these projects, man, they're coming. Yeah. They're all coming. Shit. I've been low on projects lately. I don't even think I'm working on my old truck this year. Well, what did you, what would you want to do if you did? Oh, I got a headliner back there for it. I think I'm going to modify my bench seat to throw it back in it. Um, I got a carp mate carpet for it. The yeah. trans has a weird issue on it, mm. so I got to pull that out. But to pull the trans out, you got to pull the fenders off, the grill off, the hood off, the Damn. motor out, wiring wow. out. And I was just like, man. So I was just kind of like... I might do the headliner in the seats, but oh, okay. I think I'm just gonna bomb it till the trans grenades itself and then and figure, then, that, <laughs> figure and out then, that problem yeah, later. Then do yeah. everything else that you know you need to. <laughs> yep. I hear you. Trust yep. me. It's well, all just projects. That's a, yep. that's a stand busy. Got a big printed wrap for my truck coming pretty soon, so that'll be soon. That the or big truck. Okay. The the super duty. Gonna do uh whole thing. Okay. It's gonna be wild. Okay. You'll yeah. see it. There you go. There you go. Who who is doing the design? Uh, we have uh, Jason at 180 Design. Yeah. Um, oh, so you're coming big time. Oh, it's, like it's, it's the be... whole thing. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jason does all of our graphic design and prints for us and okay. just ships them out. I wish I could get a graphic designer and a printer. I wish to. Oh, man. I but wish. I don't know if we can handle the workflow. Like, dude, I need another tinner right now. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to find some 17-year-old kid and hire him and train him. You have to. That's all you can do. Yeah, no one out uh -huh. there. I had one guy um, message me on my post. He was from Ohio, and he was like, "Hey, you know, I'm kind of in the market for a new job. You know, we're looking to move. Uh, where are you? Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah." And I was like, "Well, where are you looking for per week?" And he was like, "I probably want like two grand, twenty five hundred a week." I was like, "You don't have to run the shop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> can you take ten cars yeah. a day?" <laughs> right. Well, what did you do before this? <laughs> yeah, I was like, if you want two grand twenty five hundred a week, man, like, you don't have to go somewhere else. Do something, <laughs> you do... better stay where you're at if that's yeah. how much money you're making. Yeah, that's what you're making. I wish I was making twenty five hundred dollars a week to pay myself. Guess yourself. Yeah, yeah that's wild. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. The economy's crazy right now. Yeah. Got to do what you got to do. What can you do, man? Yeah. But I ain't trying to hold, hold you too long. Yeah, hey, you're no, good. No, you got to. Wednesdays is normally our little bit chiller of a day. Oh, okay. Just like you, you take it off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I switched though, man. We just don't do weekends anymore. It's the best thing ever. Now, that's why we stop at 12. 
We stop at 12 on Saturday. Oh, do you? It's a breeze in the park. You yeah. can still get up and get get going, but dude, that's it. That's all that's coming today. Man. So it's just like now we're done. That's not bad. Yeah. I got so much work in my house though too, because I work out of my house as well, not in cars, but I do other shit in my house. Yeah. Dude, I'm up at seven now. Like just being able to do that. Yeah. Like, Sundays now. Exactly. Sundays family. Tired, now. yeah. Now you could just chill on that day. It's more laid back. You're like another day of uh, just absolutely whatever you want to do. We miss everywhere though. We're, everybody's busy, which is good though, man. Mm -hmm. I'm glad everybody out there is I mean Alright, so I got my pots. Carlo. I got them to wrap these um, sway so they match. Other than that, I'm about to go ahead and head to the shop. I just wanted to bring y'all out here so y'all could see what he had going on so far for the Monte Carlo build. Bags on the go. I'll be back at you next time.